What's good, boxing fam? It's your boy, back again with another banger. And oh boy, do we have some crazy drama for you today. Floyd, money. Mayweather just dropped a bombshell, warning Gervonta, Tank Davis, to steer clear of the one and only Lamont Roach. Yep, you heard that right. Floyd wants Tank to dodge Roach like he's got the plague. But why though? Let's break it all down, cause there's way more to this than what meets the eye. Stick around, cause things are about to get real spicy. Let's roll the tape. All right, let's dive into this madness. So recently, in an interview that had everyone's jaw on the floor, Floyd Mayweather openly warned Gervonta Davis to not fight Lamont Roach. The way Floyd put it, he almost made it sound like stepping into the ring with Roach would be a career-ending move. But why is Floyd all up in his feelings about this matchup? I mean, Tank is one of the most feared boxers out there, right? So why the caution? Gervonta Davis is out here doing what he does best, obliterating opponents. This guy has made a name for himself as one of the most feared fighters in the game. Knockouts after knockouts, Davis has proved time and again that he's got hands that can put anyone to sleep. But hey, according to Floyd, there is one man who may just put an end to Tank's hype train. Yep, he's talking about Lamont. Gervonta Tank Davis is stepping back into the ring following his impressive victory against Frank Martin. Boxing pros like Errol Spence hyped Martin up so much just for him to get flatlined by Gervonta Tank Davis. Oh, he left up the gun. Oh, goes Martin! Mamma mia! Six. But it's not going to be a walk in the park for Tank Davis this time. The guy he's set to fight is no joke because Floyd Mayweather himself has warned Gervonta Davis not to take this fight if he wants to keep his claim on the throne. Now you all know Floyd Mayweather. The dude loves control, loves to have the spotlight, and especially loves to have the last word. And let's be real, Floyd isn't just some random guy giving Tank advice. This is the same dude that mentored Tank. The same guy who's seen Tank grow from a young talent to a knockout artist. But Lately, their relationship has been rocky. We've all seen the tension between these two. From public shade on social media to straight up ignoring each other's existence, Floyd and Tank aren't exactly best buds anymore. And let's not forget, Floyd loves mind games. Just like he did before Tank's fight with Frank Martin, when he tried to say the fight was off. Y'all remember that, right? Classic Floyd always trying to keep Tank on his toes, or maybe just messing with his head. So, is this warning about Lamont Roach another one of Floyd's mental games? Or is there some real heat here? My thing, my thing is, I've always been there for him from day one. Um, we had a game plan, and my game plan was to help him become world champion and take things to that next level. And I've, I've always been there for him. And just over the years, you can see, I've always been positive, always said great things about him, always pushed him to be great. And, um, but over the years, it's constantly going on the internet, take a shot at Floyd, take a shot at Floyd, take a shot at Floyd. Uh, constantly be disrespectful, constantly be disrespectful. When all I ever been was respectful to try to help this fighter, um, go as far as he could possibly go. That's all I ever did. Let's talk about Lamont Roach for a second. Roach may not have the same mainstream buzz as Gervonta, but the dude is no joke. He's got slick defense, a great jab, and can switch gears from counter-punching to applying pressure at any given moment. He's smart, he's strategic, and most importantly, he's hungry. Roach is out here trying to prove he's got what it takes to hang with the big dogs. And what better way to do that than to take down Gervonta Davis? I mean, things are already heating up between Gervonta Davis and Lamont Roach on social media. And the way Roach has been talking, you just know he has the confidence to back it all up.
So, in this interview, Floyd says, and I quote, Lamont Roach is a dangerous fighter, and Gervonta doesn't need that kind of challenge right now. There are bigger fish to fry. Bro, that's Floyd speak for this fight, ain't it? But what's he actually getting at? Is he afraid Lamont Roach might pull off the upset of the century? Or is Floyd just trying to guide Tank towards bigger money fights? Ones with more hype and, of course, more dollar signs? Look, you gotta understand something about Floyd. It's never just about boxing. It's about business. Floyd knows how the game works. He's all about maximizing profit, minimizing risk. And maybe, just maybe, he sees Lamont Roach as a fight that has more to lose than to gain. Think about it. If Tank beats Roach, people will just say, oh, he beat another lesser-known fighter. But if he loses, yo, the internet would explode. It'd be a massive L for Tank's career. And you know Floyd's brand takes a hit too, since he's been part of Tank's journey. On the flip side, Tank's been clear about wanting the smoke. He said time and again he's not ducking anyone, and Roach called him out. You think Tank's just gonna let that slide? Nah. Tank's got pride, and he wants to prove he's the best, whether it's against a big name or a dude like Roach trying to make his mark. It's gonna be a huge fight, and we don't have to wait too long for this one since it's going down this December. Roach straight up called out Tank in a recent interview, saying, If Davis thinks he's the best, let him prove it against me. I've seen his fights, and I know I can expose him. Those are fighting words right there. And to be honest, that's exactly what makes this matchup interesting. Roach is confident, and he's got a style that could give Tank some problems. Now, let's see what some of the pros think about this whole situation. We've got boxing legends like Andre Ward weighing in, saying that Lamont Roach's unorthodox style could be the perfect challenge for Tank. Ward believes that Tank's never really faced someone who can mix it up the way Roach does. Switching stances, moving in and out, and staying unpredictable. Ward said, Tank has power, no doubt, but Roach knows how to frustrate power punchers, says Ward. And honestly, he's got a point. Roach isn't someone you can just walk through. He's got that slickness, that ability to slip punches and counter just when you think you're safe. But then we got Iron Mike. You know Mike Tyson's gonna keep it real. He said, Tank needs this fight. It'll show if he's really got that killer instinct against someone who can box as well as Roach. Tyson's all about that warrior mentality. He thinks Tank should fight whoever steps up, no questions asked. And honestly, I'm kinda with Mike on this one. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.